Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the cold moon. The cold moon, appearing in the heart of winter, holds a special place in our night sky. It's not just a beacon of light in the longest nights of the year, but a celestial storyteller, its very presence echoing ancient tales and celestial wonders. Stay tuned to learn what makes it special, the best times to observe it, and the astronomical phenomena associated with it. We're about to embark on a journey through time and space, all from the comfort of your screen. So buckle up. So what exactly makes the cold moon so special? Every full moon of the year has earned itself a name, passed down through generations of sky gazers. The cold moon, as you might guess, gets its name from the cold. December, the heart of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, brings with it plunging temperatures and often a blanket of snow. But the cold moon isn't just about the chill in the air, it's a symbol of resilience, a glowing orb in the darkest depths of winter, reminding us that even in the face of frigid temperatures and long nights, light persists. Think about our ancestors, huddled around fires, looking up at the same moon we see today. It was more than just a celestial object to them. It was a timekeeper, a source of myths and legends, and a connection to something larger than themselves. Different cultures have given December's full moon their own unique names, each reflecting their own relationship with the natural world. Some Native American tribes, for instance, called it the Long Night Moon, a nod to its proximity to the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. Others called it the Moon Before Yule, linking it to ancient winter solstice celebrations. But the Cold Moon story goes beyond its name and cultural significance. It's also a time for celestial spectacle. Because of the Earth's tilt, the full moon in December takes a higher trajectory across the sky, meaning it graces us with its presence for a longer period compared to other times of the year. That's right, more time to soak in its lunar glow. Now, you might be surprised to know that the cold moon isn't always the same. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller, and occasionally it even puts on a show with a lunar eclipse. When the cold moon coincides with the moon being at its closest point to Earth in its elliptical orbit, a point we call perigee, we're treated to a supermoon. It's like the universe is turning up the brightness dial just for us. A supermoon can appear up to 14% larger and 30% brighter in the sky than a typical full moon. That's one celestial sight you don't want to miss. So the cold moon isn't just a cold, distant orb in the sky. It's a celestial tapestry woven with cultural significance, astronomical phenomena, and the stories of countless generations who looked up in wonder at the same moon we see today. All right, so now that you know the cold moon is more than just your average full moon, you're probably wondering how to get the best view of this wintertime spectacle. First things first, timing is everything. The cold moon graces the night sky once a year, typically in December. Your best bet is to consult an online lunar calendar or astronomy app to pinpoint the precise date and time of the cold moon in your location. Now let's talk location. Just like finding a good spot to watch a meteor shower, you'll want to minimize light pollution for optimal cold moon viewing. Escape the bright city lights and head to a darker location, like a park, a field, or even your own backyard if you're lucky enough to have minimal light pollution. Once you've found your ideal viewing spot, it's time to get comfortable. Grab a blanket, a comfy chair, and maybe even a thermos of hot chocolate. And if you want to take your stargazing game to the next level, Consider bringing along a pair of binoculars or a telescope. Even a simple pair of binoculars can reveal stunning details on the lunar surface, like craters, mountains, and vast plains of solidified lava. But here's a pro tip. If you're using binoculars or a telescope, try observing the moon when it's not quite full. The shadows cast by craters and mountains are more pronounced during the waxing or waning gibbous phases, creating a more dramatic and detailed view of the lunar landscape. As you gaze up at the cold moon, take a moment to appreciate its place in our solar system. It's a celestial dance partner, locked in a gravitational embrace with Earth, influencing our tides and even our planet's rotation. All right, space cadets, we've talked about what makes the cold moon special and how to observe it. But now let's venture even deeper into the cosmos and explore the astronomical phenomena that sometimes grace the cold moon's celestial stage. The cold moon can coincide with a supermoon, creating a dazzling display of lunar brilliance. But did you know that the cold moon can also be a time for meteor showers? The Geminid meteor shower, one of the most prolific meteor showers of the year, typically peaks in mid-December, 
often coinciding with the cold moon. The bright light of the full moon can indeed make it challenging to see fainter meteors. But don't despair. The Geminids are known for producing bright, slow-moving meteors, some of which can even outshine the moon's glow. So, if you're lucky enough to have clear skies during the cold moon and the Geminids coincide, bundle up, find a dark spot, and keep your eyes peeled for those celestial streaks of light. And then there are the planets. The cold moon often shares the night sky with some of our planetary neighbors, creating a celestial tapestry of cosmic wonders. Keep an eye out for bright planets like Venus, Jupiter, and Mars, which can often be spotted with the naked eye. Every so often, the cold moon's celestial dance aligns perfectly with a planetary conjunction. That's when two or more planets appear incredibly close together in the night sky, sometimes so close that they almost seem to touch. These conjunctions are a true visual treat. So, keep an eye on astronomy news and websites for information about upcoming planetary conjunctions that might coincide with the cold moon. And of course we can't forget about lunar eclipses. During a total lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow is cast onto the moon, giving it a reddish hue. Lunar eclipses are relatively rare events, but when they do occur, they're truly awe-inspiring. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content about the wonders of our universe. We've got a whole cosmos to explore, and I can't wait to share it with you. The cold moon is just one of the countless wonders that grace our night sky. So, the next time you find yourself beneath a clear night sky, take a moment to look up and let your curiosity guide you. You never know what celestial treasures you might discover. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Until then, keep looking up.